Welcome everyone. Uh, thanks for joining our uh, webinar today. Today our topic is uh, KubeDB AutoOps, Automate day to -day life cycle management for databases on Kubernetes. Our speaker today is Olok Kanthi Vomik. Uh, he's a software engineer at AppsCode. Uh, he's going to uh, give us a presentation and a demo how we are looking to automate the day two lifecycle tasks for databases on Kubernetes. Uh, and uh, with that, uh, look, you can start. Uh, and during the presentation, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask uh, in the Zoom chat. We'll uh, answer those questions at the end. Yeah, so let's start. Mm, thanks, Tamil. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our today's webinar. This is Pulok Kanti Bhumik. I'm a software engineer at AppScore. Today, I'm going to introduce with you KubeDB AutoOps and describing how to automate the day to life cycle management for databases on Kubernetes. Let's jump into the table of contents. First, I will introduce with you uh, KubeDB AutoOps. After that, I will introduce with you two new uh, KubeDB AutoOps component. One is recommendation generator, who is, who is will uh, generate recommendation inspecting the DB resources. And the second one is supervisor, who is will execute those recommendation in a specific maintenance window. In the later part, there will be a demo. In the demo section, I will show you how the recommendation generator automatically generate recommendations for your DB resources and how you can execute those recommendation in a, a specific maintenance window by supervisor. And after that, there will be a question and answer session. We will, we, will, we will answer your questions and feel free to ask your question in the Zoom chat. So now let's talk about KubeDB AutoOps. AutoOps is an addition of technology or concept that performs tasks automatically or with minimal human assistance. Similarly, KubeDB AutoOps is a concept that is focusing to automate the day to life cycle management for the databases. So things is going to be automated by KubeDB AutoOps. Currently, KubeDB manages day to life cycle of a databases via ops request. Uh, user creates, but currently ops request creation and execution processes are manual. User have to create the ops request manually and have, have to uh, apply it with immediate effect. Let's think about a scenario. Let's say a user deploy a Mongo TLS secured MongoDB. Uh, for that, he have, he, the user have to always aware of the TLS certificate expiry date. Before the TLS certificate expiry date, when the, uh, when the TLS certificate renewal times come, come he will have to create a ops request manually. After that, he have to create a, uh, you have to execute the ops request with immediate effect. That means there is no scope to execute that ops request in a specific time when the traffic tends to be low. And for the database upgrade issue, user have to be always aware about, about the new database version availability. To version upgrade, user have to do the following, uh, to same process. Uh, he have to create a ops request manually and have to execute it by himself. When the database sidecars are updated, user have to manually update the database sidecar containers to use the updated image. Uh, KubeDB AutoOps is going to automate those manual processes. Now let's into, I'm going now let's talk about the KubeDB AutoOps components. The first component is recommendation generator. The recommendation generator is a Kubernetes controller. It watches KubeDB resources and it generates recommendation for the KubeDB ops request. Currently, recommendation generators generate rotate TLS recommendation and version of get ops request recommendation. For recommendation generator, you just have to deploy the recommendation generator and it will start it generating recommendation for your DB resources. Now let's talk about the feature of recommendation generator. Recommendation generator they generate rooted TLS ops request based on the TLS certificate expiry date. The default scenario is if the TLS certificate lifespan is more than one month, 
then the recommendation generator generate the rotate TLS recommendation before the one month of the expiry date of the TLS certificate. But the TLS certificate lifespan is less than one month, then the recommendation generator uh, will generate the rotate TLS recommendation before the half of the lifespan of the TLS certificate. And you obviously change those uh, settings via configuration. Uh, then the cube recommendation generator can generate past version update of request recommendation. And it can also up, uh, it can also generate major and minor version update of request uh, recommendation for your DB resources. When generating a patch or minor or major versions, recommendation will always choose the minimum minimum available version. Let's say there are two possible versions. Uh, two possible updated major or minor versions recommendation will choose the minimum possible upgrade versions for for your db resource and if your recommend uh, if your recommendation founds that some of your db port using out outdated image that means your database uh, db resource sidecar uh, didn't match with the catalog image version then the recommendation generator will generate a same version upgrade ops request so that after executing the same version upgrade ops request the your db resources will is will is going to use the latest catalog image now let's talk about the another kubedb auto ops component called supervisor supervisor is also a kubernetes controller it actually provides the recommendation maintenance window cluster maintenance window and approval policy CRD. It watches recommendation resources and execute them according to maintenance time. And it is fully generic and it has no project level dependency. That means what we are talking before about recommendation generator, which can be, we can create another recommendation generator for another project. But for that, we don't need to update our supervisor. Now let's talk about the feature of supervisor. Supervisor can execute the recommendation by generating ops request or operations for general. Recommendation can be executed in user defined maintenance or cluster maintenance window. That means now user can choose a specific time to uh, when the when the ops request to be executed. Uh, supervisor can also enforce parallelism rules. That means user can trigger parallelism rules so that so many ops requests are not going to be applied at the same time to avoid the high resource uses. After that, user can apply approval policy so, so that the recommendation can be executed without any user action. Now let's see the workflow of the recommendation generator and supervisor together. First, recommendation generator watches those kubedb resources. Uh, currently, there are six db support, MySQL, MariaDB, MongoDB, PostgreSQL, Elasticsearch, and Redis. After that, the recommendation will generate if he founds some uh, recommendation, then he is going to create those recommendations. Supervisor is always watching for those recommendation objects. So when he, when the supervisor found some recommendation object, he will always checking for the maintenance window or cluster maintenance window approval policy. If the recommendation, if the recommendation is maintaining the approval policy and the current time is under the maintenance window, then the supervisor is creating is, is going to create the ops request. So this is our basic workflow of the recommendation and supervisor together. Now let's see a sample recommendation configuration file. Uh, this is a basic sample configuration file. Uh, it also, it, it has API version kind and metadata section for like other Kubernetes uh, gener generic resources. In the metadata section, there is a uh, name. For naming, we have follow a specific format that in the naming, the first part, pointing to the database name here mgrs is pointing to a to the actually a pointing to the mongodb replica set name and after that the kind of the resource that means the mongodb is the kind of the resource and after that uh, it basically tells the type of this recommendation so here upgrade version 
the recommendation is for upgrade about the upgrading version database version after that there is a spec field and the spec fast field is backup limit so here the default backup limit is five so the recommendation will try to create the ops request five more times if the if the ops request fails so it will try total six more times in the default scenarios uh, then the description uh, the, the description contains a human readable uh, description that basically tells for why the recommendation is generated and the, here the description is latest major minor version is available recommendation version upgrade from some other version to another version and in the operation field here the total eml of the ops request will 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 exist and after that there is a optional field recommender here the recommender can put his name and after that there is a field called require explicit approval when this field is set as true then this recommendation will must be approved by a engineer or a human this recommendation will skip any approval policy after that there is a field called rules rules has three field failed in progress and success and those fields actually tells uh, those uh, recommendation a controller will use those rules to know the current state of the operation if the success rule uh, success rule is maintained that means then the operation can understand that the current uh, ops request is succeeded after and the, finally there is a target field who is actually holds the api group kind and name of the target resource for who is the actual recommendation is generated now let's see a sample maintenance window configuration file in a sample maintenance window configuration file it also uh, has api version kind method and spec section for other kubernetes object in the spec section there is a field called is default if the is default is set as true then if user doesn't specify any maintenance window then the uh, in the in those case this default maintenance window is going to be used here user can specify his time zone if user doesn't specify any time zone then the then the time then the times given in the days section will be considered as utc time and after that there is a days section here user can uh, give a list of dates of start and ending and there is a logical or relation between the days on uh, and uh, and the dates given times let's see a cluster maintenance window configuration file cluster maintenance window configuration file is exactly same as the maintenance window configuration file the difference is it is just the cluster scope object and maintenance window is a namespace scoped object now let's see a sample approval policy custom resource uh, it also has the api version and kind the metadata section for other kubernetes object after that there is a field called maintenance window reference it holds the name of the maintenance window where the the recommendation will be executed and there is a list of targets in the list of targets there are three uh, three field group kind and operations and in the operation sections there is a list of group kind of the ops request now let's see the recommendation possible uh, possible phases there are six possible phase is for recommendation the the first one is pending Painting actually tells the user that the recommendation, uh, the generated recommendation is missing one or more prerequisite and the user action is needed. That means if the recommendation does, uh, needs to be approved, in those case, the, the recommendation phase will be pending or the recommendation don't find, if the recommendation don't find any maintenance window, that means user have to create a maintenance window in those cases the recommendation phase will be pending uh, skip stands for the recommendation is rejected or becomes outdated and supervisor uh, skips uh, those recommendations and waiting uh, waiting phase is basically telling that the recommendation is waiting for maintenance window in progress in progress says that recommendation is started executing its operation 
uh, if when the operation has been successfully executed, the recommendation phase will be succeeded. And when the recommendation has reached its back off limit, that means the recommendation uh, retries and or encounter error. In those cases, the recommendation phase will be failed. Now let's jump into the demo part. For demo, there is the demo outlines. In the demo, basically, uh, I will show you how to auto generate rotate TLS recommendation and version of get recommendation and also execute them. Uh, by supervisor for demo for demo i am using kubedb recommendation generator supervisor and cert manager for tls certificates now let's jump into the demo let's check my kubectl version i am using version 1.22.2 for client and server version is version 1.21.1 Let's check my Helm installations. I am using SART Manager Helm chart for SART Manager stuff, using KubeDB Enterprise Helm chart for installing the databases, and using Supervisor Helm search for the supervisors. And I am going to run the recommendation generator outside the Kubernetes using the kubeconfig uh, file of the cluster. Now let's check the database ports that are running in Kubernetes. Uh, uh, the the kubedb database ports. See, great. Here, the in the kubedb namespace, kubedb enterprise ports are running. Let's check the ports in kubeops namespace. In the kubeops namespace, the supervisor's port is running. Okay. Now let's run our. Let's run our recommendation generator. For recommendation generator, I am going to say the recommendation. I, I will send a special flag that to say the recommendation generator to generate the TLS certificates before three months before, before uh, that in, uh, the expiry time of the certificate for the demo purpose. Currently, I am using three month the lifespan TLS certificates. Now let's run our recommendation generator. In the meantime, let's see a MongoDB database CML I'm going to apply. Here, I am going to apply a MongoDB replica set, which is TLS secure. I have already uh, created the MongoDB issuer, and I am using a three, I, I'm going to deploy a three replica for the MongoDB replica set. Our recommendation generator is running. Let's create the MongoDB database. Here, the MongoDB database is currently provisioning. In the meantime, let me give you a tool to my terminal setup. Here, I am in this terminal. I am going to watch the, all the recommendation from all namespaces. After in the below terminal, I am watching all the maintenance window. After that, I am watching all the cluster maintenance window. After that, in, in this terminal, I am going to watch as all the approval policy. In this terminal, I'm watching the DB ports that is going to be deployed in the demo namespace. In this terminal, I'm uh, watching the MongoDB database. And I, uh, in the below terminal, I'm going to watch as the MongoDB ops request. In the below terminal, I'm watching the Postgres databases. And after that, I'm watching the Postgres ops request. For, for in this demo, I'm going to use the MongoDB and the Postgres databases. Let's wait for the MongoDB database to be ready. And in the meantime, our recommendation generator is running. So he will going to create the recommendation for this database. Yeah, the MongoDB database is going to be ready. And our recommendation generator is generating two recommendations for these databases. One is about the rooted TLS, and one is about the upgrade version. Before seeing the rotate TLS, let's create a maintenance window. If 
first i am going to create a default maintenance window uh, with asia slash dhaka time i am going let's say my current time is 10 54 pm so let's create 10 50 let's 7 pm okay the default maintenance window is created let's see the eml of the recommendation that is created here the here is the recommendation that is rooted tls created by uh, recommendation generator here is the description it is saying that tls certificate is going to be expire and it will give the exact time in the utc format of the expiry of the tls certificate and in the operation section it uh, holds a uh, ops request spec uh, ops request total yaml for rooted, uh, rooted tls certificates and here is the rules and here is the targets in the status section the approval status is currently pending and it has failed item is zero it is not outdated and the parallelism rule is namespace that means the recommendation generator will you uh, executed only one recommendation at a time let's approve the recommendation for approving the recommendation currently i am using ed status uh, kubectl plugin okay now its face is coming to waiting so it is waiting for the maintenance window in the maintenance window we are specified the 10 57 pm my current time is 10 56 so wait for a bit to, for the maintenance window happening okay the maintenance window starting so the recommendation will be will going to start executing soon okay yes the recommendation status is in progress and here we can see a mongodb ops request is created type of type reconfigured tls and its status is progressing in the meantime our mongodb database status is going to critical because our database started uh, our database ports is started restarting Let's wait for the MongoDB ops request to be successful. Yes, our MongoDB ops request status successful, and in the meantime, our recommendation status is going to be uh, is uh, come as succeeded. Now let's see the another recommendation generated by the recommendation generator about the version update of this MongoDB database. Here. In the, uh, in the spec section, the description tells that the latest major and minor version is available and it is recommending version upgrade from current version that is 4.2.3 to 4.4.6. And here is the operation section. It holds a MongoDB ops request uh, full EML where the target version is set as 4.4.6. Let's approve this EML. 
but before appro approve this ml uh, we are going to create an, another maintenance window to see how we can specify a maintenance window and not with a, without using the default maintenance window for that let's delete the default maintenance window first the default maintenance window is deleted now let's create a maintenance window here is the maintenance window uh, aml in the time zone section i am using the asia slash dhaka time and let's start it from 11 2 pm Our maintenance window is created. Let's update our recommendation for and specify this maintenance window uh, as a as a as a maintenance time. For that, at first, I'm going to update the approval status as approved. And for that, I need to specify the approved window. And under that, there is a call, there is a field called maintenance window. And there, there is a, uh, I should specify the name of the maintenance window, which is W1. And we can see the our upgrade version status is as waiting. Uh, we specify our starting time as 10, uh, 11, 2 p.m. My current time is uh, one almost, it is near. So please wait to the maintenance window happening. The maintenance window is happening. The recommendation will start at its execution soon. Yes, the recommendation is started its execution. And here in the MongoDB ops request section, it creates the upgrade ops request, which is now is in progressing. And in the meantime, our database status comes as critical because the database port is upgrading the new new version of the database image. So let's wait for that MongoDB ops request to be successful. The MongoDB obstacle is successfully executed and the database version is also updated. Now we can see the updated version of 4.4.6 and our upgrade version of recommendation is also succeeded. Now let's see how can we execute the rotate TLS recommendation without approving using approval policy. For that, we need to we need a specific uh, approval policy custom resource configuration. And here is an example of the MongoDB approval policy. Here in the maintenance window reference, I told uh, the name of the created 
uh, the uh, just created uh, maintenance window and in the target section i say the kind of the mongodb ops request currently only the tls secure uh, uh, tls rooted tls recommend, uh, recommendation can be executed by the approval policy and other version of get recommendation are secured from the approval policy by the recommendation generator so let's create this mongo policy first So here the MongoDB policy is created and here is the rooted TLS recommendation which is currently in, in pending and it's, it's directly jumped to in progress without approval because I in the approval policy I said it to app I auto, auto so the recommendation controller automatically approved this uh, recommendation by himself and we can see a reconfigured TLS ops request is generated and the database status is come as critical and the mongodb ports is restarting so let's show it to this mongodb ops request to be successful The reconfigured TLS is successful and our recommendation generator, the recommendation will be succeeded soon. It's succeeded. Let's delete our Mongo policy. And let's delete the recommendations for uh, to uh, understanding uh, the Postgres part better. And I'm going to show one more thing. Here, the version upgrade and product uh, recommendation or uh, two more recommendation is pending. If I deleted this MongoDB target resource, then the recommendation should be going in uh, skip status and the outdated information should be going into false. So let's delete the MongoDB. I deleted the MongoDB and the recommendation status is updated to skipped and it is saying that it is outdated. Let's delete those recommendation as well. Okay. Now let's create the Postgres uh, resource for the next part of the demo. Here I am using a single replica of the Postgres uh, with TLS enabled. Let's create it. Okay, the Postgres uh, the Postgres database is kindly in provisioning. Let's show it to be ready. Now I am going to show the same version recommendation, uh, same version upgrade recommendation generator, and show will show you how the recommendation controller will always watching the database ports, and if he found that the database ports is using any outdated uh, Im image that doesn't match with the container, then it will generate a same version upgrade for to force fully do that let i am going to edit this port images
here in the Postgres, there are three mess. One is Postgres database, and one is for PC coordinator, and the one is for uh, Pro Prometheus exporter. So I'm going to update the PC code. Uh, I'm going to uh, degrade the PC coordinator version from 0 0.9.0 to 0 0.8.0. To trigger the or, or, to trigger an auto and same version update recommendation. Okay. Here we can see the database port is restarted, and here already one up, upgrade version recommendation is shown. Let's quickly check it. In the meantime, the auto recommendation will be generated. In this upgrade version. In the description, it is saying that latest major and minor version is available, and it is recommending database version upgrade from 13.2.13.5. And you will know that, that there will be sub upgrade constraint for data uh, in currently for Postgres and MySQL. Recommendation generator will always maintain those uh, upgrade constraint when he suggests recommendation. That means the user don't need to worry about the upgrade constraints by himself. In the meantime, a new upgrade version is generated and it marked the previous upgrade version as skipped. When the and same version upgrade is required, it will uh, mark others up, uh, version upgrade recommendation as skipped, as outdated. So let's check this same version recommendation CRD. Here is the object of the same version upgrade recommendation. In the description, it is saying that the same version upgrade uh, recommendation is needed because the stateful set image version is not up to date. And the target version is 13.2. My database current version is also 13.2. Okay. And for, uh, for executing this recommendation I, I am going to use the cluster maintenance window for that let's create a cluster maintenance window with a specific dates here i am uh, specify the start and end date in the utc format my current utc time is 5 12 so let's give it to 13 and update its approval status to approved. And I have to create the cluster maintenance window as well. Okay. Here is the default cluster maintenance window is created. Okay, now the recommendation is started in Postgres and it creates a post Postgres ops request here. And we can see the Postgres ops request is currently in progressing and our database status is not ready and our database ports is restarting. So let's wait the Postgres ops request to be successful. And here I am using the default cluster maintenance window that's why I just approved the recommendation and the recommendation will have the recommendation first watch watch for the default uh, maintenance window when he didn't find any default maintenance window then he going to find a default cluster maintenance window when there is no maintenance windows specified. The Postgres obstacles become successful. And the database status is also ready. And our recommendation status is also succeeded. Now let's check the Postgres port and check the check the previous version is backed or not.
here you can see the database is a uh, sidecar containers is updated according to the catalog versions so that's all from my side from demo here is the resources uh, you can take the fscode license for the fscode license server from licenseissuer.fscode.com you will find the details information and documentation in the QDB stash and the vault website and you can follow the youtube channel you will find the informative videos and instruction and tutorials there how can you, uh, you deploy the data, uh, databases or how how can you use the stash to backup and now if you are, if you are if you have any question then you can ask your question uh, thank you block uh, thanks for the demonstration uh, so yeah so uh, that was a great demo for the uh, upcoming feature for this automation so you know if i can summarize sort of the you know the uh, uh, the goal behind this feature is like today when you are using our products like kubedb or stash uh, when you do an updated version release there is a quite a few things that needs to be done manually not just on the operator side but also sometimes on the database side and then uh, there's this if you are using tls like updating the tls you know we have supported auto scaling like if there is a case of vertical scaling or horizontal scaling but uh, that is for runtime databases, but then things like TLS or uh, like if there's a patch version release that we think users should update, like, you know, releasing those recommendations. So all these kind of uh, things that needs to happen uh, if you are running a database or any other type of application on a day-to-day -day basis, that needs to be, uh, you know, maintained and organized. Uh, and, and yes, it is possible that you kind of go and read our documentation and figure it out all yourself, but it will be better if just tool does it for you. So that's the, you know, that's the reason why we started working on it. And, uh, and all the things that you have seen. Uh, so we are, you already know that we have been uh, building a web-based console on top of our KubeDB and Stash product. So, you know, all of these things, you don't have to like think about EMLs all the time. You can just click some buttons on a web page and it will get done correctly. Uh, so, so that's kind of uh, why we have all these features. So like if you are using cloud like AWS or Google Cloud or Azure, you know that they usually have this kind of concept of a maintenance window and then things get done in that window. So, so we are bringing those vision or so those kind of functionality into the Kubernetes world. Uh, with our product and and this is all done in a kind of a generic manner so today we're just demoing it with uh, kubedb uh, uh, supported databases but once it goes into production we'll support our whole suite of products under the similar kind of recommendation model and including certain things that we have in the plan like you know what happens when the license expires or needs to be renewed and all that those will all be under this kind of similar recommendation model uh, so that's uh, the our vision for the product. And um, if you have any question, feel free to ask. Uh, yeah, so sounds like uh, there are not many questions today. Uh, so with that, I guess I'll thank uh, Pulok again. Uh, and uh, well, with this, we're going to take a couple of uh, weeks of break and we'll be back with our regular uh, sort of weekly webinars from May again. Uh, so hope to see you soon. If you have any questions, uh, always feel free to ask us, you know, through our uh, usual channels like email, our Discord, or Twitter, um, and we'll be happy to help you there or answer any questions. Thanks again.